machine, or should I say on the Aching Service Centre machine. Zante Otto, Lady Racer Zante, in that 73, there's Lance Jonas, and then Jamie Hall on that 65, and then Nassif Smart. The others are basically all by, um, Byron, the Super Sport 300s. I see the Braddon Hutchings bike just getting into position, number 74, and that is 13th position. We'll be starting alongside uh, the 24 of Stavro Michel. I don't actually know if he's out there, to be honest. Yeah, yes, he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there he stands, yes. There's Stavro Michel and the Suzuki. On the outside of Mitch. That is correct, Mitch Robinson, uh, Kawasaki Ninja 399. A lot of hand gestures going on there just to say, get back into your place, thumbs up. Uh, what can I order you for lunch? Uh, all those kinds of signals are going on out there. Lunch is finished, Byron. What it's are you talking about? Done. I think they're organizing supper already. <laughs> and it's afternoon one, tea. It's, only, it's the way. It's only 2, 2 p.m. local time. So we are ready and waiting. Nine racing laps you'll have for the uh, bike races. Uh, like I say, bike race number four here. Now, Frankie, take them off the line. Right, here we go. We're going to get this one going pretty soon. Watch out for the five-second paddle. 30-second board gets taken away. Five-second board gets moved off the line. Lights are on. Lights are off. And away they go. And once again, a lovely start here by Hutchings. But he drifts to the outside of the circuit. Zante Otto. No, it's going to be Hutchings from Zante Otto. Zante thought that she might have had the whole shot out of turn number one, but it went there to Nicholas Hutching. So Zante Otto sits there in that second place. It's not a stunning start from Nicholas in race two compared to what he had out there in race number one, but still he got the whole shot out of turn number one and leads out of turn two. Oh, it's a decent start though from uh, both oh, of them we've at got the a front. Bike down. We've got a rider down in turn two, rider up, running after the bike. So rider is fine, but there is a rider down in turn two. That's the quickest I've ever seen a rider run for a bike I can tell you that much hopefully he gets that back machine back up and running again there'll be 18 of them on the circuit at the present moment they are now coming through turn four saddle sweep at this time down the backstrap they will then run the HSC racing uh, Hutchings uh, bike of course Nicholas Hutchings Zante Otto will follow suit and the likes of Ryan Kutsia bike number 32 Kawasaki Ninja 650 and David Enticott uh, who started fourth will be up in that uh, echelon as far as things are concerned yeah they come now out of turn five though and will belt it down to the line but Byron, you must keep an eye on those 300s because they are very very close to each other as the 650s are heading down towards turn number one as uh, uh, i think it's uh, adrian solomon that could be leading that class as a matter of fact however up front it is all about that man Nicholas Hutchings that's sitting out there in P1 with Zante Otto in second. Third is Ryan Kutsia. Behind Kutsia, David Entercott, and right on his heels there is Lance Jonas, followed there by Jamie Hall, Nassim Smart, and Franco Flach. His first eight motorcycles all in the... Uh, STC 650s. Yeah, it's Adrian Solomon that leads the uh, Super Sport 300 class and already 5.1 seconds between himself and uh, Erasmus, Arno Erasmus. Braddon Hutchings in third position in class ahead of Abigail Bosson and Mitch Robinson. That's a gaggle of riders over there as well, ahead of uh, Stavro Michel, uh, Abdul Isak, and then Raymond Alexander in 16th position. So the 650s heading down that uh, back straight and they are right one by one behind each other anybody makes a mistake here you're going to lose out a position or two no problem for the man of hutching service center nicholas hutching on board bike number 72 making his way out of pertamina fostron through the kink and towards the city of cape town bridge behind him it is Zante otto followed there by ryan kicks here then it is uh, david intercott lance jonas and jamie hall Followed there by Franco Flach, and behind Franco Flach, it's a Nassif Smart as they head out of turn one. 
Just looking at this gaggle now coming through. It is uh, the 20 of Arno Erasmus. Raymond Alexander. Braddon Hutchings comes up into third position. Abigail Bosson in that section as well. They go into turn one now. And they're just uh, banging knees there basically uh, between them. That's how close it is. But Abigail Bosson will have to make do with 13th for now. Ahead of Stavra Michael, Stavra Michelle and Mitch Robinson. Abdul Isak coming up. Peter Hill unfortunately not starting this race. As well as Sigurd Philip and Rob DeFoss. Yeah, watching Jamie Yord. He also made a move. This he's busy working his way through. I think he got past uh, Lance Jonas and uh, finds himself there. But Franco Flach, we will get to that one as the leaders are going down the back straight. Down the back straight, they go towards turn number five, towards Pertamina Fostron. And we've got a challenge here for second position. We have a challenge for second position. Zante Otto, as she got her nose ahead. No, she hasn't, but she did have a look there at uh, the. Um, uh, could see a uh, bike and as a matter of fact she lost that second position because here comes could see her so with all that chopping and changing it is eventually could see her that goes up into second position and then Jamie Hall and right behind Jamie Hall it is Jonas and Entercott five hundredths of a second between Lance Jonas and Dave Entercott going into turn number one Adrian Solomon crosses the line in the 300 class, still leads uh, by uh, 4.5 seconds, followed by Arno Erasmus. Arno Erasmus will have the 74 of Hutchings, but Hutchings is under pressure from uh, Abigail Bosson. Abigail Bosson and Raymond Alexander. I think Raymond Alexander might have just got through up into the top three. Abigail Bosson will try and get away through there as well. So that gaggle of riders still running ahead of Stavro Michel and Mitch Robinson. Abdul Isak, here he comes out under the city of Cape Town at Wingfield Motors Bridge to complete his laps. Six laps left to go, including the one they're currently on. Right down the back main goes your leader, Likas Hutchings, all on his own. Then it is uh, Ryan Kutsia, Zante Otto, Jamie Hall coming through, David Entercott, behind Entercott, it's Lance Jonas, followed there by Franco Flach and Nassif Smart. And it's an old group of motorcycles work their way down the back straight and one by one work their way through turn five out of Fastron. Just looking at the fastest lap, a 121-123 by Nicholas Hutchings. That's uh, the benchmark there as five laps left to go as they cross the line. Waiting now still for the likes of Adrian Solomon, who is leading by four and a half seconds uh, at one stage. I think he still basically is at the moment ahead of Anu Erasmus. There comes Nashiv Spot. Then we have Adrian Solomon coming down the main straight now underneath the bridge. Now coming out of turn five, though. This is the one I need to look at because what happens is Anu Engel he's broken the gap in that second position last time around he was 2.9 seconds ahead of uh, Braddon Hutchings and Braddon Hutchings I think he's still spearheading this attack over here I think it's Stavra Michelle that's coming past but Raymond Alexander will be on the outside of Hutchings and that could leave the door open for Abigail Bosson in turn one well that's a hell of a war going on there in turn one that Byron was talking about but let's go to turn four Let's go to sidle sweep. Down the back main goes Nicholas Hutchings. Then it's Ryan Kutsia. Zante Otto right on the case of uh, Kutsia right on his back wheel. Then uh, it is Jamie Hall. And then it's a lovely fight here. Also going down into turn at number five. And uh, we have got Dave Entercott in that fight. We've got Lance Jonas in that fight. And Franco Flach all working their way out of turn five. The uh, battle for third, fourth and fifth in class for the 300s goes on to the uh, Tigerberg straight now. They'll run their way through turn four. Coming onto the back straight will be second in class, Arno Erasmus. But the one to watch now is going to be the 74 of uh, Braddon Hutchings and I see that Abigail Boston is going to have some sort of a move here that she's going to uh, make. She is a tenth of a second off of Raymond Alexander the last time into turn five. She'll run and then I'll see if she'll be able to pop ahead. I think she has. I might be wrong though and let's see him as they come out now towards the line. Well, well, well. That other fight is still raging on. We'll get to that one now but let's have a look at the leader. He's making his way towards turn four. Into Sidal Sweet goes your leader. Nicholas Hutchings all on his own. Down the back main goes Nicholas, but not too far behind him. We have got uh, Ryan Kutsia, Zante Otto. She won't let go of that. You can bet your bottom dollar on. Down the back main, she's getting closer and closer to Kutsia. She looks up on the inside. Will she be brave enough to shove it through into the lead? 
Has she gone through? No, she hasn't. She still sits there in turn five behind Ryan Kutsia. Well, Abigail Bosson has come up a position. They're going through the kink now and into turn three and will have a stab of going up into third position. It is now being currently Raymond Alexander that holds that position ahead of Abigail Bosson and then Bratton Hutchings in the 14th position overall here. And they're ahead of Mitch Robinson. But meanwhile, it's three laps left to go. Well, it's another fight that's going into turn number one. Franco Flach is involved in that fight as well. So is the likes of... Uh, uh, Lance Jonas and Dave Entercott, they're all part of that fight that's coming out of turn number one and they're chasing down Jamie Hall into turn number two. They come now, so we watch those three riders that are working their way into turn number two. Three laps left to go, as I said earlier on. So uh, we're coming now to the climax. As far as things are concerned, Adrian Solomon crossed the line already, and there's going to be quite a gap between himself and Anu Erasmus, who crosses the line right now. 14 and a half seconds to be exact. Sabra Michel comes through, but here comes the big battle now. Abigail Bosson in 12th position, ahead of Braddon Hutchings and Raymond Alexander, and this battle is not closed yet. Right down the back straight goes your three leaders, all on his own into turn number five, into fast strong corner goes Nicholas but once again, that fight for P2 not done. Zante Otto right on the back wheel there of Ryan Kutsia trying to make the move, but she stays there behind Kutsia as they exit turn five out of Fast Strong Corner. Here comes Nicholas Hutchings. There's Ryan Kutsia right on his back wheel with uh, two laps to go. He's a Zante Otto. Will she look up on the inside? Yes, she will. Will she be brave enough? No, she doesn't. She stays in there behind them. Then you've got uh, Jamie Kutsia coming past and side by side here is Dave Entercott and Lance Jonas heading into turn one. Just coming over here now it's going to be Nashiv Smart that will round off that section of 650s and then Adrian Solomon we wait a little bit of time over here through uh, underneath the city of Cape Town Wheatfield Motors Bridge and will uh, start his penultimate lap as far as things are concerned I think he just uh, wiped maybe his uh, visor and made a uh, gesture to the uh, the pit wall but then the gap comes Arno Erasmus on that uh, silver machine of his the uh, KTM that he is currently on. Here he comes. He always goes off the racing line and crosses the line. And then, now, here we come as uh, Stavry Michel comes past. And now, this little battle over here. It is going to be Abigail Bosson from Raymond Alexander. No, from Brad Hutchings and then Raymond Alexander. Down the back, man. We've got to pick this one up. Will she go through this time into turn number five? Man, she's trying hard, but she does not go through there. Or has she got him? Has she got him? She might have. Let's have a look and see. Yes, she does. Zante Otto has got her nose ahead there of Ryan Kutsia. That's at fight for second and third position as the leader's coming out of turn one already. Man, then heading under the bridge now is Jamie Hall. Behind Jamie Hall is Frank Clark. And then behind him side by side is David Intercott. Intercott and Lance Jonas heading into turn one, followed by Nassif Smart. Yeah, one more lap left to go. And then we look now for Adrian Solomon on the Kawasaki Ninja 400. Ninth overall, but leading the Supersport 300 class by a country mile over Anu Erasmus. Here they come now, surely. Yep, here it comes the green uh, number four. Adrian Solomon, Arno uh, Erasmus will be next in the, uh, well, basically you say the Silver Dream Racer. And uh, then uh, we have uh, Abigail Bosson, Brad Hutchings and Raymond Alexander. They're the ones to watch out for, Frankie. Meanwhile, the leader going down the back main for the final time, heading towards Fostron Corner, Nicholas Hutchings. Uh, they're not going to catch him. He's going to make it two out of two as uh, they work their way out of uh, turn number five out of Pertamina Fostron towards the checkered flag. The flag is out and Nicholas Hutchings comes home in first position and Ryan Kutsia gets back ahead there of Zante Otto. Ryan finishes second, Zante will finish in third. Fourth will go to Jamie Hall. Fifth will go to Franco Fluff. He caught him very smartly indeed. And then we're going to have Dave Intercard just just ahead of Lance Jonas, followed by the 123 of Nassif Smart.
Well, we all know Adrian Solomon is leading the 300th class. Arno Engelreth is second, but who is going to be in third position? Abigail Bosson holds that position at the moment as she goes into Sardal Sweep now. She holds it ahead of Braden Hutchings and um, Raymond Alexander. Yeah, they come down the back straight now to have one final push at it. And it's in the slipstream for both those are two uh, HSC bikes. They're going to be three abreast as they go towards turn five. Pertamina Fastron. Who's it going to be? And let's see if it's going to be Raymond Alexander on the inside. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see now as Adrian Solomon wins. Arno Engelbrecht comes second. Here he comes right now. But I want to see as Stavro Michel also uh, ends off his race on the 650. Here we go to the line now. I think it could easily be the 74. No, it's Raymond Alexander from Abigail Boston and Braden Hutchings. Wow. And then Mitch Robinson. Don't forget about him. He's still well and truly in this race. And uh, I need to go and take a Valium now. <laughs> well, I think we need calm down tablets after that. But guess what? It gets better. The big bombers are coming out after this one. Your 600, your super bikes, and your, um, your challenge, your super bike challenge masters. That's coming up now directly after.